tend to clean the drinkers out every day too. Um, they get really mucky and I want the sheep to drink out of water that's as clean as I would drink out of if a push came to shove. So the lambs always find this an interesting thing. Come and watch to see what I'm doing. I think this is where they start to get pain because they're kind of involved in the everyday procedures, watching what I do. And, uh, they get cold. Hi, what do you think about that, hey? I was gonna say, uh, I was watching last night uh, a few videos that people were doing on YouTube like really nice ones with animation in their titles and um, just look really professionally done. I don't know if they hire people to do that or if they've learned how to do that and they have special cameras and stuff. But it kind of made me feel uh, guilty that I'm nowhere near as talented as these people. And uh, Things are kind of uh, rough here. Um, I'm not a computer person. Don't know how to use a computer very well, so I'm always trying to figure it out. And I'm afraid to try too many new things because uh, if I press the wrong button, I could delete everything and I'd never know how to fix it. So basically all my videos are done on my camera. All my pictures are by camera. And my video editing, what little video editing I do is also done on the camera. I have no idea how to download my videos to my computer to use a better editing software or anything like that. So it also gets downloaded from my camera. Not my camera, my telephone. So, um... Yeah, I feel a little bad that I <laughs> I, I can't give you more. Um, oh, and also uh, I see that everybody shows themselves talking and I don't show myself talking too often. And that's mainly because the point of my videos is the sheep. I want you to see our sheep and how they're growing and what they're doing. And I really can't see why anybody would want to look at me. <laughs> So, um, that's the way I do it and why. Um, you'll see Arnie because, um, basically I'm the one using the phone to videotape. He is even more computer challenged than I am, so we're doing the best we can. And it's just the two of us working here, so I seriously don't know where people get the time to edit and get all this animation and figure out how everything works. I'd love to have someone come in and show me how to do it. But, uh, yeah, so I'm winging it here, and I apologize for that. Um, I'm going to try give you as much information as we have, but uh, that's another thing. We are not experts. We have not been trained in sheep husbandry, and all we do here is what we've learned from experience. Um, our feed is a common topic that everybody asks us about what we feed the sheep and uh, quantities and stuff and really can't give you straight answers for that because uh, every group every time of year is different so they'll be fed according to where they are in the cycles. Um, but basically our philosophy is to keep it simple so Right now, uh, we got lots of wrap hay, so that's what we're working with. This is first cut wrap hay. We're trying to find the second cut, but it's in, in our pile of 1,890 bales this year, so they're getting that. It's just a mix of alfalfa and grasses. It's pretty dry, just a little dampness. So that's what the sheep are getting. These are pregnant ewes, uh, well, nursing ewes right here. The lambs in their little creep area in their feeder will have a little better quality hay. Second cut, for sure. 
And their creep is just a mix of the, again, the grains that we grow on the farm. Corn, barley, soybeans, and a mixture to produce a basically 16% ration. And it's simple. Um, there's nothing fancy, nothing magical. And as far as quantities go, we base everything on condition. Uh, we don't do it by age, really. We, um, if everybody's in good condition, which we want them to be, uh, we'll keep it at that level. If we find people are losing condition, we'll increase the feed levels. If they're getting too fat, we'll decrease. So uh, that's why we're in the barn all the time, touching, looking at our sheep, because uh, we're, we're just monitoring how they're performing. And kind of the philosophy also is, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. Um, we have a high lambing percentage, good health on our sheep. Um, nothing that I really uh, feel that we need to adjust and fix. We are thinking of um, switching over um, our corn ration to the ewes and rams next year to barley. Um, only because um, we don't have a no-till machine and plowing the corn stalks is getting quite tedious. So we're thinking of switching out corn to barley. So we'll see how that works out. Um, it'll be a new thing for us, but I lived in the prairies for a few years and everybody seems to feed barley out there instead of corn. So we're not anticipating any uh, bad consequences from that, but uh, that's the kind of experimentation we do. Hello, sweetheart. How you doing? So, yeah, that's a little bit about what's going on here why it's not so fancy it is about sheep farming is not a great money maker so uh, you've got to do things as efficiently as you can and as cost effective as you can while maintaining sheep health and sheep um, condition and stuff so it's a juggling act but uh, we find at our place, we are set up for how we do it. Everybody else's place will be set up differently and everyone should do what works at their farm with what crops they have or if they have to buy it in or if they have no barns, whatever. But it's all about making things run smoothly on your own farm. And if any of you guys watching are great with technology and ever want to drop in and show me some tricks of the trade, I'd be more than happy to have you in. <laughs> Bye for now.